I'm Jonathan Rogers, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the automation and mechatronics or automation and robotics concentration area. Um, so automation and robotics, the core areas that comprise automation and robotics is design, control, and uh, automation systems. Okay, so these are the kinds of things that that um, you know that, that really comprise the robotics area. Uh, so, you know, classes you guys are going to take and, and the areas of the classes that, that you have to uh, enjoy should be something like you know dynamics, vibrations, controls, and design, mechanical design. Um, so those are the classes that you'll be taking, and then the application areas uh, that this really applies to. Um, centers around the automotive industry, aerospace industry, manufacturing and healthcare, and then of course a lot of other things including consumer products. So there's really a very wide spectrum of, of, uh, of you know, future job careers that you could become a part of with this expertise. Okay, so robotic systems, um, I'm gonna go through before I talk about the, the actual classes you, you'd have to take, I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, you know, what sorts of careers would await you if, if you uh, became an expert in robotics and automation. The first thing uh, is certainly the automotive industry. So there's a lot of, uh, of positions out there in the automotive industry that require folks who understand robotic systems, control and dynamics. That comes into play uh, in the manufacturing sense. So you can see there's a lot of manufacturing robots. Um, most automotive factories are highly automated. And then also in the cars themselves that are constructed. So this is a robotic vehicle driverless car that I think is, has been developed here at Georgia Tech. Um, and so, you know, we have both the manufacturing side and the actual product side. Aerospace vehicles also highly becoming more and more automated. So uh, whether you're talking about helicopters, that's one of my helicopters up on the top left. Um, and then you know, also fixed wing aircraft. Um, on the bottom right is a helicopter that is completely autonomous, although it, is, it looks like a pilot can sit there. They took out the pilot and they installed a robot, so that's delivering cargo right now in Afghanistan. And then smaller UAVs like that little one on the left uh, built by Northrop. So this is really my area of research expertise. Um, and so there's a, a lot of, uh, of, of opportunities for robotics and automation in the aerospace community. Space and underwater robotics, two big emerging areas, of course. You see the Mars rover on the bottom right. Um, you know, most things in space are now automated. So every satellite is a robotic system. Every you know, interplanetary rover is a robotic system. They're also doing a lot more with robotic systems in um, you know, underwater exploration and excavation. So um, you know, most of these shipwrecks are explored by automated robotic systems. Biomedical applications is uh, another hot topic in the area of robotics. So that's a, that's a, uh, a uh, robotic surgery platform on the left. These things are actually very high demand. So there's very few of them out there. Um, but there's some types of surgery that you cannot do without a robotic surgery uh, platform. So um, you know, I think we're going to see sort of a, an explosion in the, in the um, uh, you know, in the, production of these, those types of systems. And then we also have, of course, prosthetic arms, um, implants, uh, all kinds of new robotic devices being developed in the medical community. Okay, so in industry right now, um, if you have a background in control systems engineering, you will not have a problem finding a job because there's a huge demand for people that know how to design control systems. Um, and that, that's not just in the robotics area, but control systems are applied um, in everything from heating and air conditioning systems to bioreactors. So control systems is a very broad discipline. Um, and, and in the robotics area, um, it becomes more specialized to so embedded systems design. So embedded systems are even things like your cell phone, little electronic devices that you carry around with you. So computers that are embedded in something portable usually. Um, so that's embedded systems design, machine learning, um, and artificial intelligence. These are ways to automate processes that can be very complicated. So, um, so those are you know some more advanced level topics. Some other things that you know that a lot of people are looking at right now. Of course, we have automated manufacturing, but human robot interaction. So how do humans and robots cooperate? Um, and as we get to to uh, you know, as, as we have humans and robots 
interacting in stressful environments like surgery rooms. You know, we have to, people, engineers, have to work on interfaces to make that interaction seamless and safe. So there's a lot of big companies out there. Um, I forgot to put Boston Dynamics, which makes uh, you know, a, a, a fair number of actually fielded consumer robots. Boston Dynamics was just bought by Google, so that just sort of tells you about the, uh, you know, the, the, the marketability of this type of work. The concentration itself requires you to take machine design and a control systems class. So that's a control elective, I believe, um, but that's required uh, for the concentration. Um, and so, of course, machine design is fairly straightforward. It's about mechanical design, designing a system to actually perform some task and that can hopefully be automated. And then control systems is, is how do we take a machine or a dynamic system and make it do what we want without a lot of human oversight. So that's the control systems class. There's a lot of math behind that, though. Um, and then, you know, in the elective courses, you're looking at vibrations courses, um, we teach a robotics course that's, uh, that's focused on, say, control of robotic arms and, and automating different machines. Um, and then we also have a couple of computer science courses you can take. Machine learning is sort of a cross-disciplinary topic uh, that, that computer scientists tend to be fo focused more on. And artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is not so much the machine level control, but it's more of a high level. Um, how do robots make decisions sort of like a human would? So those are, the, those are the kinds of things you can take. So very broad interdisciplinary concentration. And um, other things you can do is talk with faculty that work in this area. Um, get comfortable with you know, the kind of research they do and the kind of things they're interested in and see if, it, it, if, it, if you're interested in it as well. So I would highly encourage you to go talk to any of these faculty, member, faculty members and maybe do research in this concentration while you're an undergrad.